Hi, Greg Ellis from the Illawarra Mercury here for people of Wollongong. And today we're talking to Illawarra artist Donald Keyes. Hello. Hello, Greg. This segment is made possible by Illawarra Mercury. I've done a few stories on you over the years, but I've never gone back to the very beginning. So I want to start this chat today, finding mm -hmm. out where you were born and where you grew up. I was born in Bulli, grew up there near Sandon Point. So I spent a lot of time near the ocean. That's why a lot of my paintings feature the ocean. It's something very familiar to me. Do you remember your earliest uh, painting or artwork or creative piece? Well, actually, I, I do. There was a, an art class in primary school and we had to draw something and I drew the back end of a cat and I was thinking how does the front end of a cat look? But instead I just put a bowler hat so the cat was coming out of the bowler hat. Uh, and I, I got really good marks at that. But um, so all of a sudden I thought, oh, okay, you don't have to draw everything exactly how it is. And mm. So that was a, an education right back when I was a little kid. And that's probably one of the most important things to learn in art, isn't it? That mm. everyone has their own style, technique, and uh, everyone's going to do even the same if you do uh, a portrait or whatever. Everyone's going to be different, isn't, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. And, and I'm learning a lot at the moment because I'm doing a series of portraits of artists and I'm incorporating how they paint behind them. So, okay, well, the thing you mentioned then, I was going to ask you the question about it. What's that series called? It's called Art Heads and it's going to be at the Shellhaven Regional Gallery in this coming May 2017. So it's, um, it's a way to educate yourself by going out and talking to actual um, big name artists and then painting them and then putting their work behind them so then you have to actually learn how they paint as well or at least do an interpretation of their style. They're current working artists, see, um, it, you can go out and paint, you know, like Charles Blackman, but I was more interested in his son August Blackman, you know, because he's he's working now. Charles not working. Other big name artists that uh, you, you see, there uh, people see their work all the time. But there's so many artists in Australia producing incredible work, and I focused on them because they inspire me. Well, how did your painting start off, and what style? What were you doing? I mean, we talked about the cat, but mm. you're known for landscapes as well, aren't you? I do have a painting on my wall at home from 1975 that is of a portrait. It's of Humphrey Bogart, so I have done portraits a long time. Mm. But uh, yeah, primarily, I'm, I'm a landscape artist. I, I like looking at local scenery, and I like putting people in my scenes. You know how some landscape artists, it's just the landscape. But I like to identify the scene. In other words, oh, I know that's the rural beach. But I also like people in it because I find people very interesting. Mm. Um, and uh, you've got some exhibitions underway at the moment? I generally exhibit um, two solos per year and um, in between that I'm in um, joint exhibitions, maybe four or five a year. Uh, at the next, I've just had one at, at Bowral, so I'm probably not going to have one till February or, or March, but then I get, I've got May in the Shellhaven Regional Gallery. Mm. So. so this current series that you're doing, which is 20 paintings, if I remember correct, mm. once that's complete, is there another big project in the pipeline for Donald Keyes? Or there the there is, actually. Yeah. Um, 2017, after that's out of the way, I'm going to focus on the steel industry. So um, I've already got a lot of reference images and done some sketches already. So come mid next year, I'll start posting on Facebook images of the, um, the steel works. Okay. Mm. And, and one last question I'd like to ask you is, um, I see the art community in Wollongong as being more active than I've ever seen and a lot more people attending exhibitions and interacting. Mm. How do you see the industry, is probably not the word, but the art community and um, where it's going? A lot of the people you see at the moment are at that point in their life uh, that they're looking for something more than what they've done so far. So a lot of the artists in the Illawarra seem a little bit older. Uh, and they're churning out brilliant work because it's come from their life experience. And I think the future is healthy for, for producing art because even though it's, 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 uh, it's such an old medium to work in, you know, like you used to put paintings on the wall 300, 400 years ago, I think it's still relevant and people do ha like having an original work in their hand, in their home. So I think it's very healthy. All right, Donald Keyes, we'll finish up this interview by, by just touching again on when that exhibition of all the 20 works is, and that's going to be in Nara. Can mm. you know the month and date? Yes, yeah. It's, yeah. I think it's on May the 15th. 
from memory. Yeah. 2017. Okay, yes. so and it's it's well worth everyone coming down and having a look. So Donald yes, Pease, thank you very much Ooh, for your thank time. You today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. In the Loop would like to thank our media partner, I98 FM. In the Loop is made possible by Wollongong Central. Discover the city. University of Wollongong. Destination Wollongong. Advantage Wollongong. Internetrix. Lancaster Law and Mediation, Kazen Business and Financial. <laughs>